All right, so we're going to talk about how to do uh, pre-lab number two, uh, only showing you figure 2.0 for 2.2K. First, I'm going to show the desktop versions. Open your desktop versions of Mothersense. Go to source and then go to the DC power source. And then we click here and then go to basic and select resistors, throw your resistor there, rotate it, and connect it. And go here again, click ground, and connect your ground to here. All right. So let's go back to our circuit. You can see it, the voltage we're supposed to provide it um, is different. So start with four volts, six volt, eight volt, 10 volt, 15 volt. So let's start with four volt with 2.2K. So adjust R1 to 2.2K and then change V1 to four volt. Next, we're going to add the multimeters connect the multimeter across between the resistor one 2.2k this you're able to measure the voltage and click running you were able to see the voltage across this 2.2k is 4 volt which then you can feel in the uh, voltage part for your vr which will be that Right, so you don't have to really feel it. So the question is asking you to find IR. Now, let's start for a while. Okay, so we need to know the current flowing through here. So we need another ammeters. Okay, we need another DMM, which set it to ammeters. Okay, press A here. So if I'm going to make a wrong connections here, okay. I'm going to make a wrong connections. If I connect my wire like this, which which is wrong, okay, which you know is wrong, this is called parallel connections. You can see it. I have a wire going through uh, between this point to this point, and also it goes through the ammeter itself. And I click A here, and if you click runnings, you will see the current is actually zero ampere. Because if you connect ammeter in parallel, which in real life, you're going to damage the ammeter. And sometimes you're going to blow up the fuse. So this is a wrong way of connections. So what is the correct way of connecting it? I'm going to show you from the beginning. Okay. Let's not consider this voltmeter at all. So this was your original circuit. It's like that. Okay, and this is the wire going from the voltage source to your resistors. I want this ammeter in between, okay, but it's not parallel, it has to be in series. So let's break the wire and then go from the voltmeters and goes to the positive, right? You can see like that. And then go from the negative back to where the resistor is supposed to go. So like that. If now I click M, A here, you will see it's 1.818 milliamp. So this is what we need to get. And then you are going to feel this as 1.818, which will probably be similar to what your theoretical result. Okay. And then make sure you take a screenshot on it. All right. And then do that for your pre-lab part. Now, the other one, the other very useful tool we can use is called Motherson Life. All you have to do is go to Motherson MU l-t-i-s-i-m dot c-o-m and you can get your count ready there uh, everything is similar click this source part and you get the dc power source and click the passive material you get the resistors and click this ground part you get the ground we have everything we need okay and you can also rotate the source so let's connect it Connect to here. And we connect this part to the bottom and the ground to here. 
Okay, the voltage supposed to be four volts, and the current is two point two k. So we're going to put two point two k here. All right. So next, we're going to measure the current. Click this V sign here, and you click current. So a little bit different than most desktop versions. This one you just do like that. Okay, and then now you're going to click running. Then you get the current values. Straightforward. And remember, every time you change your circuit, please pause the circuit runnings. Okay, it's very similar as a, a software compiler. So make sure you stop when you do the editing. Okay, the same as in real life. You might make sure you turn off your power supply. And then you can fill in your uh, values there. Right. If you have any more questions, please email me at k10 at torontomu.ca. Thank you.